right. Got that chicken shack shirt. Put it, put it around. Let me see this. Alrighty. What's good, y'all? Good morning. It's rainy morning. This is Sua. I want to welcome y'all to the world famous chicken shack. <laughs> So everyone keeps asking, Mr. Flip Flop, when is this curfew going to end? When is it going to end? What's going on? Well, let me guys help you understand the new curfew and exactly what it is they want. First off, shout out to the New York State Department of Transportation. All my homies, appreciate y'all. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell right now as we get into the information. <laughs> to this day, to this day, to this day. So guys, I'm going to give you a breakdown of the current curfew and what's going to happen and what is expected. As I told you guys, the Dominican Republic has pretty much copied everything America has done when it comes to COVID and the situation going on with vaccinations and so on. So the last month and a half, I believe it's been, these crazy times in Santo Domingo and so on have been about getting people vaccinated. They're doing 100,000 to 150,000 a week, I mean a day, excuse me, of vaccinations. So they're trying to get 100,000 to 150,000 people vaccinated every single day. So what they did now, starting Wednesday, July 7th, as you're watching this video, they're doing a 10 p.m. curfew. Monday through Friday in the entire country, 10 p.m. On weekends in the entire country, the curfew will be 7 p.m. Now, per the words of the government, per the words of the president, when everywhere gets to 70% vaccinated, that's both shots, they will lift the restrictions. Each province, as it goes to 70%, will no longer have restrictions. So let me give you guys a rundown. Punta Cana and La Altagracia are number one leading the way with almost 90%. So by this rule right here, they have 99% vaccinated with one, 60% vaccinated with both shots, completely vaccinated. Espalat Mocha is at 65% with one shot, 48% with both shots. Now, running right behind number three, which is pretty good, is Porta Plata, which includes Sasua, Porta Plata, Cabarete, is at 63% with one shot, 46% with two shots. So basically, they're trying to tell everyone, get vaccinated and all restrictions will be lifted. Each province, as they get to 70% vaccinations, no more restrictions, no more curfew, no more nothing. Everything's open, everything goes. So right now, they're letting people work Monday through Friday having all the businesses open until 10 p.m., all businesses around the country, and on weekends, 7 p.m., which means no partying, no extra teteo, no outside, none of that. Also, when it comes to the alcohol restrictions, they have currently pushed the alcohol restrictions to 6 p.m. every single day. And you can take it to go after 6 p.m. So that's the current rules and regulations going on in Dominican Republic. As I said, once each province gets to 70%, that particular province will have zero restrictions, everything wide open, back to normal. So stay tuned. I'm expecting Porta Plata, if the state the way it goes, I expect Porta Plata to be at 70%, hopefully within the next month. So you guys stay tuned. And the reason you say why they're doing this, summertime is slow season. So right now they're trying to push everything. So once high season comes back and you guys are traveling on a normal basis, everybody's vaccinated, all restrictions are off. So stay tuned, like, share, subscribe, support the channel. Check out my last video, why you should never visit the Dominican Republic. <laughs> stay tuned for more, guys. Appreciate y'all. I'm out.